So you are now a process engineer in charge of the main pumping system in your factory. Let's talk about it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're fortunate enough, probably you just landed a job in a process industry. And try to picture this scenario. You just landed a job as a process engineer, which is going to be in charge of mostly pumping systems, which initially they sold you on the idea that it was a very simple task. So it appears to be a simple system. So you have a lot of piping, you have a lot of valves, you have control valves, actuators. You also have seen that there's a lot of vessels, pressurized tanks, and of course the pumps themselves. And now you're wondering, what exactly do I need to do? Yes, of course, we are in charge of pumping, which means working with pumps. But what are the main tasks that the process engineer needs to do when we're talking about pumping systems? And by the way, guys, I prepare a PDF file with a complete list. You just need to check out the comment section to get it. And let's get started with the most obvious one, which is maintaining pump operation. What most industries require is having pumping system, yes, but also pumping systems that are working 24 seven without any problem. Let it be pumping and increasing the pressure of the liquid. Now, for sure, this task requires a lot of things. So let's get more technical. And I'm going to get started with pump selection guys the very first steps are selecting the right pump if you have incorrect pumps or pumps that are oversized or are pumps that are not going to be working at the required temperatures pressures or viscosities of the fluid you need to ensure that you select the correct pump you need to ensure that you know your system properly but also knowing which type of pumps are out there available which requires you to know which type of fluids are going to go through power, the impeller size, head of the pump, flow rate, and of course, which type of efficiencies are available for the pumping. And more importantly, knowing the general specifications of the pump. Once that you have a pump, you need to do your pump performance analysis, which is nothing more than a fancy name on checking out how your pump is behaving whenever increasing flow rate, decreasing flow rate, changing the specifications, maybe throttling a valve, maybe pressurizing a tank, or simply changing the flow rate velocity. In many cases, the main idea is just to know what are the possibilities of your pump and the system, and of course, ensuring that you made the correct decision whenever selecting the correct pump. Many times, guys, as a process engineer, you will have the task to simply redesign the pump, maybe change the impeller size, maybe even change the complete pumping system. But overall, guys, you need to ensure, yes, the transport of the fluid at an efficient level, but more importantly, at a low cost of operation. Hence the importance of operating in the correct operational point of your pump. And of course, one of the main tasks as a process engineer will be to work with the maintenance team. With a proper scheduling of maintenance, you will ensure that you are working with a healthy equipment and that the equipment will last for longer. Not only that, guys, these specifications of the pump are most likely going to be pretty similar to the initial one and will for sure save a lot of time in downtime operation. Talking of which, as a process engineer, you will be in charge of the troubleshooting if there is any problem at all. You will need to, of course, understand why are pumps failing, what is the main root of that issue, and of course, implement your plans to avoid this of happening again. As the one in charge in pumping system, this is one of the most relevant aspects in order to continue a correct continuous operation of the chemical plant. Moreover, guys, you will be in charge of the correct operation of the pump, meaning that it must run smoothly, but also in the correct regulatory conditions. Hence the importance of implementing the safety measurements that are required to operate in such conditions. And not only that, also taking care of the environment. Now, of course, proper operation is important, but something that is also quite important is the cost of operation. We're talking about energy cost, which is related towards power and efficiency. We're talking about labor cost. Then we have maintenance cost that we already discussed. And of course, repair costs that may arise. Generally speaking, we want to work towards the best optimal point of operation, which has the best operation conditions for our pump. 
In many cases, it may be also one of your main task guys to be the one in charge of training the personnel for the correct pump operation. This will require you to have a lot of creativity in the way in which you teach these concepts to the plant personnel. And we may be talking about training the operator, we may be talking about future process engineers, or maybe we're talking about plant maintenance team. Whatever the case this may be, the main idea of the process engineer is to ensure the correct operation before, during, and after the interaction with the personnel. Generally speaking, the process engineer will be teaching how the pump behaves, but more importantly, what if scenarios? For instance, bubble formation, whirlpool formation, cavitation, if there is a sudden shutdown of the pump, maybe electric failure, or whatever the case this may be. The main objective is that the plant personnel knows what to do whenever a problem occurs. And finally, one of the most boring things, but very important things to do, documentation and reporting of all the things that you are doing. This is by far one of the things that most process engineers complain the most, because in many cases, it is a way hard job to fix a problem. And eventually what you need to do is simply write a report, what happened, what could be improved, what are the key measurements that are going to be done from now on and so on. And whenever we talk about documentation, we're talking about maintaining accurate records of pump specifications, if there's any change in the performance or maybe any change in the maintenance activity. It's very important to ensure that there is a record on the change in condition due to a pumping system. So there you have it guys, those are the main tasks that you will typically encounter as a chemical or process engineer working in the pumping systems. Now of course this will vary a lot in the type of industry, company or process that you may be working on, but as a process engineer you for sure need to ensure the correct operation and the optimal conditions of your equipment. Now if you think that I missed something please let me know in the comment section so we can learn more about process engineers working with pumps. On my behalf guys, that will be it. I'll see you in the next video.